Hi, I'm PJ and this is PJ Collects. Today I'm going to show you my recent pickups. So to get started, these are my pickups from the last few weeks. I have been to garage sales and gotten some things on Craigslist as well. So that's kind of everything bundled in here. I haven't had a ton of success, but I am going to show you the things that I have been able to pick up. So to start, let's just go back to, um, let's see, I guess this was two weeks ago. And we'll start with this find right here. So it was kind of a unique garage sale. It was, it was like big automotive garages all lined up in a row, almost like giant storage sheds. And there were two of them that were connected and, and that whole space was being used to just sell a ton of different things. They had all sorts of different items. But I walked in, immediately went to what looked like sort of the toy section and started looking around for Legos and saw this tub of Lego sitting on a bottom shelf. I immediately saw a couple of minifigs. I've since, you know, sort of pulled them out and put a couple of these together. There are a couple of Superman minifigs. There are a bunch of these Wonder Woman minifigs that don't have any of the heads. And so I saw that there were lots of genuine Lego pieces and some really good pieces too, some unique pieces. So I was pretty excited about that. So I grabbed it and kind of just kept walking around, didn't see anything else. And uh, I did pick up these as well there, but I'll go into those in just a second. Yeah, so I brought these up to the front, asked what they wanted for them. The guy said that he was looking for five bucks for this. And from the pieces that are in here, the quality of the pieces, the unique pieces, the minifigs, five bucks was a no-brainer, so I snagged those for five bucks. I also picked up five cassette tapes, which might seem like an odd pickup, but I only have four right here because one of them was Michael Jackson, and I actually put that in my car and have been listening to it. Yes, my car does have a cassette uh, player it's still in it. So I picked those up, and the reason why I did that is I use these cases. I don't use the, the cassettes for anything, but I use the cases actually as cases for my Game Boy games. So I'll show you. I just brought down one. I make these custom cover arts for these and stick up my Game Boy games in there. And they fit really nicely in there. It's a nice way to show off some art. They have nice spine art on there, keeps them safe, keeps them dust free. So I really like this. I, I saw a, a guy on YouTube who was making these and I just thought that that was such a great idea. So I've done these for my Game Boy games, but I needed a couple more uh, for some of my Game Boy Advance games. So I, I snagged up about five of those. I actually won't use them all, but I'm hoping that I will over time collect more Game Boy games. I'll probably... Well, hopefully I'll eventually need a lot more of these if I am able to pick up some good Game Boy games. So that was two weeks ago that I picked all of that stuff up. So I'm really excited to go through this and see what's in here. It, I think that there are multiple sets in here, but we'll see. Next, um, at some point in the last couple weeks, I saw someone on Craigslist who was selling this light gun, the zapper gun for the NES. I don't have one of these yet, and so he was asking five bucks for it. I don't know what they usually go for, but I was willing to fit, pay five bucks for this, so I went ahead and met up with him and, and grabbed that for five bucks. I actually don't have a CRT TV that I can use this on, so unfortunately I don't know if it works, but he assured me that it did, so um, hopefully he was telling the truth. Eventually I hope to get a CRT TV and, and use this for some duck hunt. In fact, my son was asking me recently um, if I remembered something about the goose hunt, and I was like, what's the goose hunt? And I realized that he was talking about duck hunt because we played this a few months back. So anyway, excited, excited for that. So a couple weeks ago, I think it was a Friday morning sale, I snagged these. You should have seen that earlier, but there are two, whoops, two buckets of Legos here. There is this base plate that is really pretty grimy and discolored, but hopefully that'll clean up. Nice to get these base plates. And then two buckets of Legos. So we'll go through this in an upcoming video. But there are a couple more base places in here. Looks like somebody was building a house out of this. So lots of bricks, mostly bricks in here. Um, there is an instruction manual that goes with 
this tub right here underneath. I believe that's what it goes to, 6166, yep. So, nice to have that as a completed set. Well, actually, I don't know if it's completed, but I assume that it is. There were several of these Mega Blocks minifigs. Um, I will just get rid of those. I'm not interested in keeping those. And then in the second blue tub, there's definitely a lot more Lego in here. And mostly I think pieces from this set, but I, I think there are also some other things as well. There is, oh here's another Mega Bloks minifig in here. Um, so there are a couple, min, uh, there are a few Mega Bloks in here as well. But there was also this minifig, and I don't know if you can see that real well. I might, I might come up and show you this one close up. But yeah, I, I don't know if you can really tell, but this one... Whoever was playing with this took some permanent marker and colored all over it. They filled in completely the torso and then also the hair, the head, they like tried to color it all red. I don't know if you can see that real well. So I have no idea why they would have done that, but I'm going to have to see if I can try and get some of that off without taking off the actual print on there. That was the only minifig in here other than the Mega Bloks minifig, but I believe that the set only comes with one minifig. So this is the minifig from this set just colored for some reason. So we'll see if we can take that off. But there are some nice pieces in here. There are 10 of these one by one tile pieces in here. Those are really nice to have. So there's some good stuff in here. Even though it's mostly block, there's, there's some good pieces in here. So this will be fun to go through. The next day, last Saturday, a week ago from today, I went up to a community sale. Uh, you should have seen this already. I didn't get up there until later in the day. And by that point, everybody was saying, oh yeah, we had video game stuff, but we sold it already. Oh yeah, we had Legos, but we sold it already. Stopped at the sale, told the guy that I collect video games and Lego and play with my son, and we have a lot of fun with it. And he was a dad, looked like his kids had, had grown up a little bit, were maybe in the teenage years, and were not playing with these sorts of things. And he just sold a whole bunch of those things. And he felt bad about that. So anyway, I drove off and turned around, and he flagged me down. And um, I, as, as I said earlier, um, he gave me these two pick-a-brick uh, tubs that are pretty much full. This one's pretty much full of these lime green pieces. Uh, there are some really cool pieces in here. And some of these obviously come from like some car sets. This is an interesting... Whoa, I think I just lost a piece. This is an interesting piece that I'm not real familiar with. So anyway, there's some cool stuff in here. And what's really nice is that there are a few pieces in here that I actually need for some Lego sets. So if you've seen from one of my really earlier videos where I built the Lego set called Camper. I was missing a few lime green pieces including this 1x4 tile piece. So this is in here so I'm just going to be able to go and replace that and put that in there. That, that uh, set was also mis missing this 1x6 plate. So I'm, I can just fill that in and, and I'll be good to go there. So really, really grateful. Very, very kind for that, for that guy just to give these to me. This one is completely full of these light light gray pieces. There are a couple non-Lego pieces in here, but I think that they're pretty few and far in between. I think for the most part these are genuine Lego. So, like I said earlier, these are gonna go straight into the collection. I'm super grateful for these. I won't try and resell any of these. We'll just use these. These will be really, really great for us to use as we build our own sets and things like that, build our own mocks. So anyway, so yeah, as I said earlier, I was feeling sorry for myself, I stopped and at one more sale, sort of a building where they, they sell stuff that they get up from buying old storage sheds. And picked up this box, had these three Technic manuals in here. So this is 8838, which actually I think this is a really cool build. I'm really excited to try and build this. It's like a dirt bike. Set 8836. After kind of looking through this a little bit, I don't think that all of the pieces for this are in here. I know for sure that it's missing one of these tail wing pieces. So we'll see. And then set 8042, which apparently has some kind of pneumatic device on there. And I think that the pieces are in there for that. So we'll see if it works. I'm just looking here. There's also like a motor 
I don't know if it comes with that though. So anyway, I'll show you a little bit in here. So it comes just in this tackle box and they had already you know, gone through the trouble of organizing this so we've got pins and um, I don't know all the technic names for these things. I'm not exactly sure what these little things are, but these little pins, these axles, they have plates set out, they have um, springs, shocks, they've got the pneumatic system stuff up here, and then some of these wheels, so I'm pretty sure that these wheels go, go to that dirt bike, so at least those are in here. Pretty worn and faded, but you know, they still work. Um, and then, yeah, lots of plates, lots of bricks with holes in them. So, I, I think, I haven't looked in close detail, but I think that all the pieces for the bike might be in here, and I think all the pieces for set 8042 with a forklift and all those other builds, I think that those all might be in there. So, this will be a fun one to go through and to see what we can build out of here. As I mentioned earlier, I've never done Technic before, never done them as a kid. Um, never really had much interest. They always seemed more complicated than what I was capable of at the time. So um, I'm excited to try some of these out. I, it'll be fun to see what we can do out of, see what we can do with them, and maybe who knows? Maybe I'll really enjoy it, and I'll get into technic. We'll see. So that was last week. This week, uh, this morning, woke up, went to a community sale, hit up probably oh 20 or 25 sales right in that in that development and struck out at every single one. There was, no, I don't think that there was video game stuff or Lego stuff that was out in any of them. A couple people said that they had stuff earlier, but the sale had started the day before on Friday and I, you know, I usually work Friday morning, so I'm not able to always get off and, and go Friday morning. Sometimes I'm able to, but I wasn't able to get any of those, so I was really feeling bummed out. I decided to hit up um, one more sale on my way home, and I found this book, this Lego Ideas book, and yeah, picked this up for a dollar. I was super excited about this. My son spent the rest of the way home looking at it. Uh, he's really excited. Lots of really cool ideas for mocks and things that you can build. They give really good tips about ways that you can build things. Um, different building techniques, so I'm excited to go through this and, and look and kind of learn some new techniques, so I thought that was a good pickup, especially for a dollar. Uh, with one more sale a little later in the day where I picked up this for 50 cents. He had a dollar on there, I asked for 50 cents, he gave it to me, so this is set 30281, mic Micromanager Battle, but the coolest thing is that it has a wild style minifig in there, so I thought that was pretty cool, so my son and I will build that, and we'll just keep that. That's a cool mini thing. I'll enjoy having that. And then the last pickup was was made this afternoon. I um, I actually had been texting with a guy for a few weeks now. He had listed on Craigslist on Craigslist a couple weeks ago some boxed new inbox Lego sets, and I think he had six originally for a hundred dollars, and they included a couple. Like one was a Lord of the Rings set, one was a Hobbit set, those were both big new sets. And so I was really excited, but by the time I was able to get a hold of him, he had already sold the two, those two sets, the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit set. So he didn't have those anymore. And he had updated his Craigslist post and was asking 50 for the rest of them, which is these four sets. I asked him if he would go down in price a little bit, and he never got back to me. And then this afternoon, I just happened to be on Craigslist and saw that he had relisted asking for 30 for these and so I sent him another text and just said hey man would you take 20 for them and he said sure if you can come get them so I went and picked them up so I was really excited to pick these up not because they're sets that I really want but I think that they're sets that I can flip and make a little bit recoup some of my costs and invest in some Lego sets that we really do want so I'll start off with just this little one I guess this is set 75001 uh, this is called Republic Troopers versus Sith Troopers, Star Wars The Old Republic, which I had no idea that they even made Lego sets for Star Wars The Old Republic, which is kind of cool. Um, again, not really interested, but this is sealed in box, so I can hopefully just sell that um, right away. Next, we'll do this set. So he had originally posted that these were all sealed, but it turns out that they weren't. 
So this is set 70131, Rogan's Rock Flinger. So it's a vehicle that apparently flings rocks. He said that a nephew had opened this up and had built this or started building this or something like that. So he said that he'd gone through and verified that all the pieces were in there. I have no idea if they are. I did find just casually looking in here one minifig. It looks like it comes with three. I know that there's at least one minifig in here. Hopefully the rest are in here. But because this has been open, my son and I will build this and we'll have fun building it. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. Next here we've got set 60003, Fire Emergency. Again, this set had originally said that it was sealed, but it is not. But two of the three bags are sealed in here. It does have the instructions. I looked, I did see all three minifigs in here. So that's sort of the most important things that it has the minifigs and the instructions and two of the three bags sealed. And just looking at what what was built, it looks like somebody took out the first bag, opened it, built it, and then put it in here. So I think that this one is complete, but we'll have to we'll have to see. I can't decide. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to open up the rest of these bags, and my son and I will build this and play with it for a little bit before I resell it, or if I'll just try and resell it like this. If you have any suggestions, please leave that in the comments below. Last is this set seven nine one two one. This is Turtle Sub Undersea Chase, Ninja Turtle Zine. I actually was really excited about this set. This is a set that this is a set that I would maybe want to keep. My son is super into Ninja Turtles. He likes them. I think that they're cool. I feel like this is sort of a rare theme because it was so short-lived, and then Lego ended up not maintaining the Ninja Turtles lines. And I think Mega Blocks did them for a while. I don't know if they still do. So I feel like getting Ninja Turtles Lego is is pretty cool. Uh, just because they're not too common. So this is sealed, hasn't been opened, but unfortunately there is like this big hole that was sort of punched through the front here. So that's going to decrease the value if I do try and resell this. So again, I don't know if I'm going to open this up and, and if we're going to build it or if I'm just going to sell it as is. Um, I haven't decided yet. I kind of would like to open it up and build it, but we'll see. I guess it'll depend on how much I'm able to get from these other sets. So that wraps it up for my recent pickups. If you like this video, if you enjoy the content on this channel, and if you want to see me build some of these sets and some of the things that I picked up, please hit that like button and that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.